How to create a beautiful quiz app in Flutter. First, we will create the question model, which has a text to show its title and a list of options. Therefore, we need to create our options model with a text and a boolean to show the correct and wrong answer. Now we can have an array of our fake data based on our questions model. After that, we will create our question widget in the body of our app, which will have column of several widgets. Firstly, we will have a text to show the number of current questions out of the total questions. Therefore, we need to initialize the question number variable to 1. After that, we will have a page view to show our questions one by one. Disable the default scroll behavior of the page view. Then the item count of the page view will be the length of our questions array. And inside the item builder, based on the current question, we will build our question UI. So here inside the build question method, we will have a text to show the question title and an options widget to show its options based on the current question. Now inside our options widget we have a column that we can map to the options of the questions and create a list of options. Therefore inside the build option method we create a text to show its options. Now we can decorate them by wrapping it with a container and set a background color. We can add some space around the text using padding. We can even add some margin to have some space vertically between the options. We can have rounded corners using border radius and have a border with a gray color. For making the options clickable, we wrap the container with the gesture detector and define the onclick options method with the options which user clicked. Now we need to declare it here and then pass it as a parameter in our options widget. Now we will check if the question is locked, we do nothing and if it is not we lock the question and select the options which user clicked on it. So now we simply call a new method get color for our option and we also put the option and the question inside. Now we will set this color for our border of the container. Then inside our get color for option method if our current option is selected. So now after we check the question is locked and selected we return a color red or green or else we return the gray color as default. And now we can see the border changes when user click on a correct or wrong answer. Now for making our UR more beautiful, we create get icon for option method and pass the option and question now as before. And inside this, we determine if our current option is selected. Now we will check if the question is locked and selected and based on if the answer is correct or wrong, we will define an icon or else we will define a sized box to show nothing. Now we will create a button method and inside that we will check if the question number is lesser than our total question. Then we will have a next page text or else see the result text. Now inside the onPress method we will check if question number is lesser than the total question. Then we will go to next page and the next question by increasing the question number by one inside the set state. Now we need to create a page controller and initialize it in the init method then pass it in our page view and now as we can see while clicking on the next page we can go to the next page and the next question now we want to calculate how many questions the user did answer correctly therefore firstly we will create a new score variable then in our options widget we will check if the selected option is correct then we will increase the score by one now we need to show the button only when the user selected an option. Therefore we will create an is locked variable and initialize it to false. Then inside the options widget we will set the question status value in our variable. And then inside the elevated button we change the is locked status to false for the next question. Now here if only the question is locked we show the button or else nothing. And now if we reach to the last question, we need to go to the result page. Therefore we navigate to result page and pass the score to check how many questions did the user answer correctly. And now we can create our result page and get the score here. Finally we can show it in the text. As you can see this is the last question. When we select any option, the see result button will be appear. After we click in it, we will go to the result page. 